If you take the beetle juice, you're going to take the karagma, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua Bashem And this is a um, this is from the video that we did yesterday at the uh, camp, the Apostles Live Street Ministry, uh, August 21, 2021, year of hastening of the coming of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And there was a uh, comment I came across on this video from uh, Ados built the U.S. period. And Ados means American descendants of slaves. Which is true. We built, if not all of America, a great deal of America. You know, America became great with uh by way of the slave slave labor and the reason why you have slaves is to save one um overhead you know that's why in this country in my area new tri-state new york connecticut jersey area if you get up to go to work early in the morning seven in the morning eight in the morning or whatever you'll see uh, on certain corner corner uh blocks people that look mexican and the reason why i say look mexican because you have some of them that are, might be ecuadorian and you know uh venezuelan but for the most part they're mexicans mexicans up here they don't have papers and they get these white boys come in to pick up truck and pick up three or four of them to do a, a day job and they'll pay them that same day but I don't know what they pay them now but it's got to be under minimum wage but it's off the books so you know not only Jake uh, built this country but the Mexicans I'll use the term Mexican have built a lot of this country as well they they have them skills too um but anyway um this country was built off of uh slave slave labor or slave wages so they can save one there because at the end of the day it's all about profit how much profit do you get if you if you if you have a, a family a big family and you have a business and if and it's a family run business you have your, your your kids, you know, part of the, run part of the business. Well, you got to take care of them anyway. So basically, that's almost like slavery in a way. Because you're taking care of them, but they're working for you. Anyway, let me get back into this. Um, anyway, it says, um, uh, ADOS built the USA period. Yeah, because we were the slaves pursuant to uh, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter it said they shall build but let me no I'm sorry I'm quoting something else let me go to Deuteronomy this is how you prove that we this is the go to scripture it tells you uh, Deut Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 on down to to 14 and from 15 down to 68 it speaks about the curses if we do not obey the laws of the Most High let me go to the slave report Deuteronomy 28 verse 32 thy sons and thy daughters so that's your your sons 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 and daughters 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 your your the descendants of the uh, Israelites that were in the wilderness that came out of Egypt. This is Moses the prophet um, telling Israel, you know, if you don't obey the law, statutes, and commandments, 
your sons, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The, the other people are the Edomites through the slave trade. And thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long. There's a scene in Roots where Kizzy was taken away. And her mother and her father, which was Kunta Kinte, they long to see their daughter again. And said, and there shall be no might in thine hands. When they took us, took us down... We had no might to, to stop them. The same thing's going to happen when we put Esau and the other nation in slavery. We're going to have power over the nations. Pursuant to um, Psalms, the second chapter. Pursuant to uh, Isaiah, the 14th chapter. Pursuant to um, Revelation 2, verse 25 and 26. We're going to have power over the nations and we're going to overpower you. Uh, Psalms 149 is another one. We're going to overpower the rich. It says, uh, "The fruit of thy land, the the fruit of thy land, and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knoweth not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and cursed always." Now that's talking about back when we was in Is um, in Israel and Jerusalem and Palestine. See, this Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, is not necessarily talking about one time in history. It's talking about the various uh, s nations taking us over and either putting us into captivity, killing us off, whatever the case may be. Like if you go to like around the 50th verse on down it speaks about the siege and that's talking about the Romans coming against Israel when it says thy high walls will come down so this is not talking about one time in history so 33rd verse 32nd verse is talking about uh, slavery in the USA 33rd verse is talking about seven, the key year is 70 AD now let me jump down to uh, let me go to the 47th verse Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because it tells you in um, Deuteronomy 32nd chapter, Jeshuan waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxing fat. And Jeshuan, which is Yashuan, means the first. So we're the first of the nations. We are the chosen of the Most High. It says because, 47 verse, because thou servest not the Lord thy power. Yahweh with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore, 48 verse, shall thou serve thy enemies, which in this case is talking about the so-called white man during the time period of the Roman Empire and during the time period of the great slave, chattel slave period in America up until this point. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, with which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger, hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in the want of all things, and and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Now, when you put yoke of iron upon thy neck in Google. Matter of fact, let me go to that. Yoke of iron upon thy, thy neck. Bear me for a minute.
Google. You can also go to DuckDuckGo. And uh, this is what pops up. This is what pops up. Us being uh, shackled and yokes of iron. So you can't get around this. So let me come back. Now it says here in the 49th verse, the Lord Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far. Now people say, well, I believe it was Fopi. I said it in one of the videos. That what does it mean that the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far? And I believe they said, I didn't see the whole thing, but I caught part of it. You got to go to folk me and find the video. That uh, how is the Romans far from, from uh, Jerusalem or Israel? Well, what I did was, I put in, uh, how did I phrase it? Uh, Rome or Italy to Israel. How many miles? And you know how many miles Rome from Rome to, to Israel or Jerusalem is almost 2,600 miles. That's a lot. That's a far way in this time if, if you can hop on the plane. Well, in the ancient world, <clears throat> that's a lot of miles. So, Rome, Italy is far from Israel or Palestine or, or Jerusalem. <clears throat> so it says, 49 verse, The Lord Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, from one part of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly, flieth. The Romans' animalistic sy symbol is the, is the eagle. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And what was the tongue that the Romans spoke? They spoke two languages. Greek and, and uh, Latin. A nation, <coughs> which are the Edomites, because the Romans are descendants of the Edomites. A nation of fair continents which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. And they did that back in the Roman Empire. And they also did that in chattel slavery in the USA. And he shall and and he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. That's talking about what? When they invaded Palestine, they took your cattle and they they didn't so much put you in slavery, they um they uh taxed you. That's in uh, Matthew uh, chapter 2, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go to that to find out. They had a census. It's either Matthew 2 or Luke 2. I'm sorry, it's, it got to be Luke 2. Let's try Luke 2. Okay. Yes, yeah, census is a taxing. They have to know how many people are in a particular area and the businesses and around about the people to, to, to know how to tax them. So that so the U.S. got which is counting Israel, which is against the Most High. It says uh, another reason why you're going to be destroyed. Uh, Luke two verse one, and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from uh, Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, and the world is talking about the Roman Empire, and this taxing, which which is the census. And this taxing was first made 
when Cyrenius was governor of Syria and all went to be taxed and everyone into, the, into his own city which was a census and Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David Bethlehem which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David he was the direct descendant of King David uh, f uh, fulfilling the uh, prophecy of our Lord will come directly out of King David uh, Isaiah the 11th chapter it says to be taxed with Mary his espouse wife being great with child what does a spouse mean? Let's look up the word a spouse. Let's see what the Greek word is. And I'm going to get back to the main subject. To woo her and ask her in marriage to be promised in marriage be betrothed. So when she was pregnant with child that's before they they got married that's why he said he hide her you know hide that belly anyway I just wanted to cover this to show you that we were taxed what the Romans did they 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 tax you you had to pay tribute what happened in America which they taxing you right now they're still taxing you don't give a shit that you went into slavery. You ain't going to get no motherfucking uh, reparation from this devil. The true reparations is to put them in slavery. That's when, repar when the reparations is going to come when the kingdom comes. When we enslave their ass and take everything that they got. Here you are, the former slaves. Clinton, that devil, he said, oh, I'm sorry for slavery. And that's it. And he still taxes to this day. So trust me, you ain't getting no goddamn check anytime soon. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get no ten million dollar check anytime soon. God damn it. Anyway, let me come back. Let me come back to this. I kind of went all around the world, but uh. I kind of, like I said, I went all around the world, so I'm back at this. And that, that, that's, that happens. Lessons within lessons. Anyway, let's get back to this, the, the uh, comment that was left. Ados, Ados built the USA, period, which proves that we're the Israelites. And uh, she asked a question, what do we do if we're re required to take the jab for a job? Do we quit and be poor or... Well, we trust in the Most High if we're of the elect. It says in Isaiah 65 that it says the, mo the Most High servant shall eat. So this is a trust thing. This is a trust thing. And this is when faith kicks in. So there was a number of uh, comments that was put up. And I came and I put my comment up, which I gave. This is what I said. I said, it will ultimately lead to the mark of the beast. Then I put in Revelation 13, verse 16. And I also put in Revelation 14, verse 9. Revelation 13, verse 16 on down speaks about, the Lord says, do not take it. And Revelation 14, 9 on down to 12 says, if you do take it, you will be destroyed. So you can go ahead and take it and keep your cushy job and ultimately be destroyed. Because if you take the Beetlejuice, you will take the Karagma. And what's, what's happening now is they said all you got to do is take one Beetlejuice. Now you got to take a series of Beetlejuices. Oh, last night on the news... Uh, Jesse Jackson was hospitalized because of uh, the crown Vic Royale and they said that he he took the 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 the, the Beetlejuice so and and a lot of people are going back in the hospital that have taken that 
Now they might just take this video down. We'll we'll see. At this point, I don't give a shit. Most I want it to stay up. It's gonna stay up. Now I'm gonna say this in closing that uh, last night we were talking and uh, coming back from the camp. And uh, Apostle Rhyme Lob, uh, I believe it was Apostle Gabard and Apostle Rhyme Lob, they brought up a video where this guy, um, uh, Captain Desariak, was talking to the sister that the sister had been following them for years and she don't think that she should take that thing. And basically, it going back and forth and then the last thing that Captain Desariak said was, which he said that he took it. Whether he took it or not, I don't know, but he said he, he took it. Unlike uh, the old man Eleazar in um, uh, Second Ezra the sixth chapter, which they try to force him to say, "Eat this meat. It's not pork, but eat it and tell tell the people that it's pork, so they can follow you because they honor you." As an old man, and he said, "No, he said, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do that." You know, so we don't know. If uh, Captain Tazariak took it or didn't take it and said that he took it to get other people to take it. And immediately we said these guys sold. They got bags. They sold out. Johanna finally got to this guy. And I said, and when I heard that, I said, shut that, shut that shit off. Shut that motherfucking shit off. Now, if he took it, he's going to ultimately take that Karagma along with the rest of them guys. And um, they're going to be destroyed. As we've been saying from day one, when we got on YouTube back in July of 07, we've been talking about this uh, Karagma is going to come and it's here now. It's right around the corner. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.